Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for July 1st, 2024. We are now in the seventh month of the year and time is flying and I really like to look at the first day of a month to really kind of see what the energy is. And so the keys for today and not just for today, but for this whole month is to allow yourself to pursue, to seek and to, to nurture spiritual connection with the divine and allowing yourself to have miraculous and divine transformations as a result of the work and accountability that you are putting into your day to day life. And I say this today because we have the moon in Taurus. The moon in Taurus is about the body. It's about what I have. It is about being present. It is about um, really enjoying the energies around you in the corporal senses, through the corporal senses. And the moon in Taurus today is making a beautiful sextile to the sun, to Venus, both in Cancer and to Saturn. And so there is this really beautiful energy today that... You can just have this kismet kind of coming together of who you are, being aware of what you have, being aware of how you've grown, being aware of what's changed for you. And yes, there is a contrast with this, right? You're going to realize that there are certain things that no longer satisfy your spirit. There are things that now irritate your spirit that are inspiring you to look for other ways to really connect and the key is connecting to the spirit, is key is connecting to the divine. It's allowing yourself to connect to the unseen and see that you are a part of not just this physical world, but the spiritual world as well. And the more that you nurture that today, uh, the more grounded you're going to feel and allowing yourself to make this a habit, especially since we have a semi-square to both Neptune and Uranus. And both of these energies cause for like this desire for something different. You want new dreams. You're sensing new dreams. You're sensing new energies. You're sensing a change, like this irritation, like you have this new energy through your body. And you're like, what do I do with this? Where is this coming from? Take your time. Take some deep breaths and allow yourself to connect with that, especially since we have the moon in conjunction with Mars. And so remember, Mars and Taurus is very much about changing your strategies, right? Not giving up, right? But also not doing the same thing that you always done, allowing yourself there to be some mutability and adjustment and maturity in how you're proceeding with yourself. And so overall, if you take all of these energies together, there's really beautiful opportunities to understand who you are, not just as other people see you, but as God sees you, as the divine sees you, and allowing the divine to perform these miracles in your life. Now, we do have a Jupiter in a semi-square with Chiron, and this is where there's that spiritual inner irritation, because Jupiter semi-square Chiron is that's where it's highlighting to you like okay what things of expansion and what ways and some things of disassociation have you been using to cover up things that you really need to heal and if you allow yourself to be aware of what you've been using kind of as a temporary band-aids for your pains and let yourself take them off and give them to the divine give them to god give them to the universe and say okay i'm ready to heal i'm ready to integrate i'm ready to grow that's where this this ability to be contained in yourself um, because you like yourself and you're happy with yourself and you truly understand the value of who you are to the universe and who you are to God, that really will change how you interact with everybody else. So this month really does have this uh, tone of really getting in tune with what the divine has to say to you about who you are and what you're meant to do in this world. It's a beautiful opportunity, guys. Tap in. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.